When the COVID-19 pandemic shut down the economy, one of the first things on everyone's mind was jobs, jobs, jobs. That's what it's about. The pandemic created the biggest spike in unemployment in U.S. history. Between the end of March and the beginning of August, over 1 million people have applied for unemployment insurance each week. At its height, nearly 15% of working Americans were unemployed. Because of the massive influx, millions of people reported their unemployment benefits, which they have paid taxes towards for years, were delayed or never came at all. I'm, I'm paying you, like, I'm giving you a job. You want me to pay you for estimate? Uh, next thing I want to reach out, uh, I tell the guy um, what I get, you know, what, what I change my phone. Quarantine hasn't been the easiest for everyone, including the parents who still have to go into work. Here's two perspectives of two hardworking parents that had to go through this. Starting off with Reba Simon, my mother. Hello, I'm Reba Simon. Um, my daughter is Azora Jabate. She's the one filming me right now. <laughs> um, I am a correctional officer. I work for law enforcement for the Department of Justice. That is my career path. I've been working there for about eight years. It's not the easiest of careers, but it's something I've always had a passion for and something that I do well. The most important thing for me is keeping my mind off of negativity during COVID, during this quarantine period. Clearing my mind has been actually way more important during this quarantine phase more than anything. Usually I'm just a person who just keeps going. I go. I go, 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 I get up in the morning, I go, I go to work, I go, I come home, I'm going, I'm always moving, I'm always thinking, I'm always doing. Now, it's very important for me to keep my mind clear. Because if, like the world is in chaos right now and it's just staying positive, remaining happy, you know, talking to my husband, talking to my children every day, letting them know that we're gonna be okay. Now here's another perspective of another hardworking parent. This is Omar Powell. My name is Omar Powell. I'm Azores father. I'm an iron worker representing local 580. I work for Perma Stelisa for seven years. I'm a welder. I build a vessel. I'm currently working in the hot sea yards. How I protect myself daily comes naturally. Safety is the number one routine that we practice and we talk about every day, every morning before we start work. We all do it. We all have to come to work. We all have to survive, to feed our family, protect our family, and do what, do what necessary to get through our day, to go through our routine and get the job done. I have for all families that's going through this tough time is stay hopeful pray know that it's gonna be over we don't know how long it's gonna last and we don't know all the effects of the aftermath but pray and stay hopeful because it has to pass and we have to get back to our regular lives and we're gonna be as happy as we were before even happier COVID has brought so many families together friends and just people you see on the street together. The world has changed for good. It has. And I want everybody to stay hopeful and know that this too shall pass. And we're gonna get on our way and we're gonna be happy again. Take off my mask because I'm outside. Keep your world safe. You got this.